So, hello everyone. I'm Aaron Crane. I'm here to talk about Loctites and Pearl, which is a pretty dull title. It's what I'm reading about. I'm here to talk about why you're all wrong about map and grep. <laughs> so, you all like map and grep, right? You can map some, some code over a list, you can grep for the things we're interested in, that sort of thing. And you'll notice that we have this block of code inside some curly brackets. There's nothing after the code in curly, you just have the block. Right? This is sort of way of writing it, which is an expression and a comma after it, and no block. And yeah, it works just the same in this sort of example. Um, but <coughs> some people really dislike this version. <clears throat> They're wrong. You're all wrong. All completely wrong. And I'm going to tell you why. There's two reasons. Come down to aesthetics, syntax, and semantics. And if you don't like those words, it's whether you like it, how it's written, and what it means. So let's look at an example like this, starting with aesthetics. Now, you get this sort of code quite a lot. There's just lots of curlies around, and they kind of mean different things. They're doing this, and they're doing that. And it's just kind of a bit clunky. And I used to prefer blocks, but I went to expressions. And honestly, I started liking my code much more when it started looking like that. This is a personal preference. You might not like it, but you're still wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, syntax. You can have some code like this. Build up a hash that goes from an ID to a row, and we've all written code like that, right? Now we've got a block here, that's fine. We could also have some expression code where we map uh, creating a new hash ref over a list of hash refs to get some shallow clones. That's all right, and this is an expression, right? Except, is it? Because, well, we've got curlies as the first thing after the map in both cases. How does Perl know which you meant to do? The answer is, it uses a heuristic. Or to put it another way, it takes a wild ass <laughs> guess. So, okay, I was right about that. This is a block when you say this. But, ah, no, I lied. That's a syntax error, because Perl thinks that's going to be a block, and it's like, what's this comma doing? I don't understand, you've done something wrong. Um, instead, you want to do something like this. Clearly better. Right or not, depending on how you look at it. So, suppose you don't want to do that. How can you disambiguate? How can you tell Perl what you actually meant? A lot of people like to do this trick. You put a semicolon as the first thing in the block. That gives Perl a clue that this must be a block. It's not an expression. It's not a hash ref. Um, I find that ugly, but mm, more to the point, does it actually work? So suppose you do this. Does that, does that do the thing we expect it to? Any guesses? Any guesses? <laughs> no, because what you have there is a block containing another block, and it just doesn't help. So now you get everything that's up in a bucket, and your code fails, and it's better if it has some good test cases. <laughs> so we want to look for some better dis disambiguation. So this is the easy way to do it. You just stick a plus in. So as soon as Paul sees that plus, it's like, ah, oh, this must be an expression. How easy. And what if you want to do the, the getting a, a mapping from ID to row, like we had before? Well, you just need an extra set of parents as well. So we've gone from block to parents, we've got the plus there, and Perl knows exactly what you're doing. Now I'm sure there's someone sitting there thinking, oh sorry, yes. So always use expression common syntax and use plus when you need to. Someone's thinking out there is thinking, but what if I need a variable inside the block? Because I really like complicated map blocks. <laughs> like this. Oh, I've got some quadratic stuff. Fine, whatever. You don't need to worry about the code here. Well, if you do really need to do this, if you want to have a four-line map block, that's easy. Just use a do block. Because again, Paul can see the do, and it goes, oh yes, this is an expression. I know to how to handle one of these. So, map do block, comma, list, done. The end. Easy. So the revised rules, always use the expression with comma syntax, use plus when you need to, and if you do need a, bl a block, use explicit do. So then we can move on to semantics, and this is, I think, the more important argument. And it's where we got on to talking about block types in curl. In curl. Sorry, you don't actually get away, you get to get away without having this. So, Perl has three types of blocks. There's loop blocks, like while and for. There's subroutine blocks, like sub and eval. Did you know about that one? And there's trivial blocks, like if and do. And the way you distinguish them is that loop blocks can be exited with things like next, last, and redo. And subroutine blocks can be exited with return. And trivial blocks don't respond to any of those. Okay? So if we have something like dollar hash curly some key, that's a trivial block. 
What does Gurney say? If you have a bear block, that's a loop block, as we all know. Package P block, any guesses? What sort of block do you think that is? That's right, it's a loop block. Everyone knew that, right? <laughs> <laughs> and Mac and Grep, which, you know, iterate over a list, what, are the, what blocks of blocks do they take? They take a trivial block. So we have code like this, where we get some prototype subroutine that takes an ampersand, we've got an ampersand prototype, like, uh, sort by, let's sort the things in this list, and we can say what key we want to sort by. That is a subroutine. The prototype means that we're just passing a subroutine, we've, we've omitted the sub keyword, um, comma, after the closing curly. But that looks exactly like the map. So we've got this thing where this is the only way to accomplish that sort of thing. But we've got map and grep, which kind of look like they're the same, except they're not. That behaves like this. That's a subroutine. You can't next or return out of this block. You can return out of that block. So from the idea of keeping similar things similar and different things different, I think it's much more sensible to reserve the the block syntax for prototype subroutines, prototype block taking subroutines, subroutine taking subroutines, and use the expression syntax map and grab. Just shun the block form of map and grab. Thank you very much. <laughs>